making holes in train. That was one of the most asked feature of my train plugin and I finally add that. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a hole in train. Also, I'm going to talk about the concept behind this because I believe it is necessary to know how these things work. So this is our train and each point on our train has a specific height value. The height value is stored in a float, which is usually four bytes. A float value does not contain always a numeric value. It also can contain two other non-numeric value. One of them is infinity and other one is none. These two things are not numeric values. And these two things has some strange behavior. For example, if A is a float and it contains a none value, A equal to A will return false. So what we do to create a hole on train is to set the height map value to a none. This will do two things. When we create a height map collision shape where height map value is none, it will ignore the collision, which is really good. Also in vertex function, when we set the height value of each vertex, it will ignore that vertex which contain a none value. And that is also really good. So let's see how we can make a hole in mtrain plugin. So I activate the paint mode and then I choose the hole brush. If the add is active and you paint on the train, this will create hole for you. Now from here, you should pay attention to one thing. Usually when you create a hole in a train, you should cover around it with uh, rocks or some stuff. And as you can see, as I get far from this hole, the shape of the hole is changing. And that is because LOD level of that train is changing and the vertices is changing. And because of that, the shape of the hole is also changing. So you should always cover the edge of the holes with some rocks and some other stuff. And also pay attention to this fact that as you get far from the hole, uh, the whole shape will change. So now let's deactivate the add on hole brush and I try to remove the hole which was created. You can see as I remove the hole, the train on that part will back to zero point. And that is because as we set our height map to a NAN value, we destroy our height map value and there is no going back for this. Of course, you can undo if you make a mistake, but if you want that your height map values will not destroy even if you close Godot and open it again. There is another solution or better way to do this. In the paint panel, in height map layer, create a layer with the name of holes. You should put exactly this name. This height map layer is different from other height map layer and if you select that, the paint brush will automatically change to the hole brush. So if you paint in this layer, and now if you try to remove the hole on train, you can see the height map value are preserved. So what happened if I sculpt where the hole are located? So for example, if I sculpt here and now I remove the hole, you can see where the hole is located is not sculpted. But if you change the hole's layer visibility and now I sculpt, everywhere will get affected and when I turn on the visibility of the whole layer again, the hole will appear in the same position as before. Just remember before exporting your game, you should merge all of these layers. So this was about how you can add holes in train. But in this train update, we also have some more things. At first, when I added this layer system in my train plugin, it was so buggy, but now a lot of bugs are gone and this will give you a great ability in sculpting. Imagine you made a good train up to some point, or even you create your train in another application like Word Machine and you import that in a train plugin and now you want to preserve the original height map texture. So for example, I want to add a road to this train. If I create a new height map layer for my road, I won't destroy the main train height map. For example, here I add a road layer and in this layer, I start to sculpt a road. Now, if I make a mistake somewhere, I can choose remove layer brush and I just can remove the part in that layer. As you can see, the main layer is intact. You can also change the visibility of that layer. Also, you can merge or remove that layer. Just remember before exporting your game, 
you need to merge all the layers together. And one more thing that is using layers need a little bit more RAM during develop time and cause that the painting become a little bit more process costly. So if you are using a PC with not too much RAM and with a huge train, it is better not to use that, but, but you can test that if this thing is working or not. So let me know what do you think about this train update and have a good time. Till the next video, bye.